Howdy, howdy, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the video for Tower of Fantasy. My name is Vince SG, and what's good with you guys? All right, in this Tower of Fantasy video, guys, I'm going to show you how to get your hands on Booster Module 2s. Booster Module 2s are an upgrade item that you need to enhance certain pieces of gear. My chat calls it the 2.0 gear because I guess this is gear that came with the Vera 2.0 update. But if you are new to Tower of Fantasy with PlayStation, that means nothing to you. So I'll show you what type of gear I am talking about. All right, and it's this gear right here Fortress Micro Reactor, your Fortress Exoskeleton skeleton your what is this fortress combat engine and then the what is this one called it is the fortress tactics eyepiece to enhance these items you are going to need a good deal of these booster module twos and if you look down here and this is not what i'm telling you uh, how to get these in the video but this is how they tell you to get them which is you know this is a way but this is a slow way of getting them you can defeat rudolph and in, in, uh, vera rudolph password chest magma password chest you got to have a yellow key for it uh this is definitely a way to get the booster module tools but definitely tell you there is a easier way there is a repeatable way there is a way to grind them i didn't have any before i started this video and now i have 34 of them and i got all 34 of these booster module tools in one night and i could probably most likely if i really wanted to grind to get like a hundred of them in like one night if i really wanted to and i'm going to show you in this video how to get those now listen really quickly before i get into all that if you are new here if you've never seen one of my videos before do me a favor and subscribe to this channel and turn all notifications on so you don't miss an upload and then after this video is over if it was a help come on back to my channel and browse my playlist for tower of fantasy because i have made a crap ton of videos for probably almost every topic that you could think of for helping you to play the game better helping you get to know the game how to learn how to play the game and just a bunch of helpful tips and information and also more than that come on by the streams you turn notifications on you get notified when i go live i stream tower fantasy almost every evening and people are like when do you stream normally i try to stream in the evening hours when people are at home from work they're home from school and then on the weekends i try to do that a little bit earlier because you know weekends people do stuff so definitely come on out to the stream i'd love to have you join the chat join the community that i've made for tower fantasy because it's a happy positive community filled with very helpful people who have helped me a lot along the way let me tell you if you want to learn more about tower fantasy join my chat and join my stream because we are always like learning together and people that just know a crap ton more about the game than i do they are always telling me hey this is how you do that this is how you do this and i'm like whoa, whoa, whoa how you do this then and then you know so just join the stream join the chat and i promise you i guarantee you it's not going to be a waste of your time and it's going to be fun because we have fun we hang out we, we kick the bobo people don't say kick the bobo no more but we kick the bobo all right so anyways let's get right into how to get these booster module twos all right, so really quickly, if you're here, you're a gamer's gamer, you're like me, you just want to know the quick information. I'm going to show you that right now so you can get back to the game and do what you th uh, do. What you do. Um, you want to go to Appointed Research, and then you're going to go to Secret Pool Measurements, and this is a repeatable quest that you can keep doing over and over to get Booster Module Tools. You have to, and let me see if my... But if you do that, you got to make sure you have all of these items and you get these items just by farming the sea. Now, if you are not a gamer's gamer and you're like me before I started doing a point of research, and you don't know where none of this crap is. If you've never touched this before, I'm going to tell you uh, step by step and give you some shortcuts on how to do this easier to cut some time off your grinding. But it is going to be a grind. You're going to have to dedicate some time to this. And you can, uh, when it's all said and done, just repeat this quest over and over again, despite, you know, provided that you have all the items necessary and you have the uh, energy activation charges necessary to uh, farm this mission repeatable over and over. All right, so the first thing I can tell you is this. Uh, so to get to appointed research, I'm pretty sure you're just going to have to advance your storyline until you get to enters and i think enters i that's when the story like unlocks for you i don't know exactly what the level uh requirement is but once you get the uh appointed research unlocked you just go to the terminal you go to appointed research down there and then you're going to go to deep sea explorations and you're going to focus on uh ocean ecology that's the first tab there and all three of these one two three these at the bottom all the way to dragon neck turtle and then secret pool measurements you're going to have to do all of these now what i did last night was i went and i saw that the dragon neck turtle one i think it was well whichever the case may be i went down here last night when i was grinding and i was trying to figure out how to get booster module twos and then one of these had booster module two as a reward but i had to like complete a different thing so what i suggest that you do is do them all in order because i did them all out of order it had me going from place to place now there are a certain type of enemy that you or a bunch of type of enemies that you're gonna have to farm over and over to to get to the end where you can go ahead and do secret pool measurements so um you start here at shrimp snail 
you basically uh, there's phase one and then there's phase two and it's basically all you have to do is go and fight a number of the shrimp snails all right shrimp snails and shrimp snails are going to be creatures you find in shallow water and I've got a cheat sheet here for the shrimp snails um, they're usually in shallow water and I'll show you on my map exactly where I went to farm these shrimp snails so uh, there's deep breath a dragon breath volcano and then there's two inners and then off of this place right here the grand space rift grand sea space rift um, I was here and then around sort of this area is where I farmed the shrimp snails and they are just shrimps that are just lying on the ground they don't fight back but they do have health bars and there are just a gang of them over here farm those over and over because you're gonna need like a lot of those i'd say farm until you get like i don't know man far maybe 50 of these things spend like 20 minutes farming these things over and over and then once you farm enough of them then you do the quest and you see how many more you need you can come back to this area but for certainty come over here to this area you're going to be coming back to this area a lot actually this area that i'm hovering my cursor over this area you're going to need this area there are going to be some puff fish there if you don't have any small fish you can get the small fish there there are some um exploration quests up there that you can do so you can get some more energy uh activators or whatever like that so in this area there's a lot to do there's also a dragon turtle nest in this area as well in the shadow um shallow water so um there's gonna be a time in the video coming up that i'm gonna tell you that you're gonna need to uh farm those dragon turtles and their nest to get their eggs their nest is over here somewhere there's a nest over here uh another thing that you're going to have to farm is these uh dragon or these uh snout snails all right these snout snails i'll put it on the screen snout snails they can be found under inners there is a little like portal hole that connects inners all the way to the dragon belt volcano it you teleport to inners you uh you teleport to inners right here and then you go down below inners this little like there's a the hole down there or you can just teleport straight to the dragon breath and then in the area down below dragon breath around these areas you're going to be able to find like it's like right above like i don't know it's just a little spot in between as you can see it on the screen right now but that's where you farm those things now when you fight these uh dragon or these snout snails make sure you hit them with grievous weapons hit them with grievous weapons because when you hit them with grievous weapons they drop their wings and you're going to need those wings you're going to need a lot of those wings for a quest so definitely uh defeat them with grievous weapons and they're going to be underneath inners another creature that you're going to have to farm a lot of is going to be the g captive jellyfish and those are going to be at the bottom on the sea like bottom like ground level of the volcano so dragon breath volcano they look like just giant jellyfish that you can actually attack there's like six different types of jellyfish in the game um these are going to be like red little jellyfish you can see it on the screen these are the ones that you attack for their materials and i think if you kill these with fire they drop everything but for the most part you're going to be looking for the tentacles the tentacles are going to be the most like sought after item that you get from these things and i tell you i was farming these things over and over for their tentacles so just swim around they respawn the respawn rate is you know pretty pretty quick if you do like one revolution around the base of the volcano you should be able to just keep going and fighting them if you go all the way around the volcano um so get the tentacles and then also you're gonna have to fight these dragon neck turtles um i these things are all over the place so the way that i where that i farm those is around inners and then that shallow area of the map that i showed you there's some turtles there because they do have a nest in that shallow area but um breaking off from that shallow area and going down into the deeper parts of the water uh so i'll just bring it up so like around this area there's going to be a lot of those dragon neck turtles you can kill those and get their materials as well um i would say kill those with fire too i think they drop more stuff when you kill them with fire and yeah it is a thing that creatures drop different items when you hit them with different element types so it's wild so i think fire and grievous are going to be the weapons that you want to use to farm as weapons that i use to farm the uh, materials and then you're just going to need a bunch of the materials man that's all pretty much it but for a certainty i say just do this one at a time do this one at a time uh because if you try to do them out of order like i did it's going to tell you like when you get to phase three of this it might say something like complete phase four of this or complete phase two of this before you can start farming phase three of this so i suggest man just going in order start with the shrimp snail just move over to the snout snail move over to the spiny jellyfish move to the dragon neck turtle and then eventually you're going to be able to do this and listen it's possible you can do it in one day you can get all of these items in one day 
you may have a problem getting the poison sack. All right, the poison sack says catching puffy fish. Puffy fish are these little fish. You don't fight them. They're just little creatures that you just press square on them and you can collect them and then you'll automatically get a poison sack. I specifically farm those in the shallow water near that Grand Sea Space Rift. All right, and that's going to be it for this video, guys. If it was helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. Let's try to get 30 likes on this video. If you have any specific questions about this video, like maybe something I went over maybe a little bit too fast or there's some item that you're still not catching, um, go ahead and let me know down in the comments, and I'll do my best to provide you with a reply and maybe tell you exactly where to go to farm these items. But this quest is pretty much it's just farm-based. If you want the booster module twos, you want that repeatable quest, this is how you do it. You're going to have to farm enters. There's no way around it um, because you only get like one of those keys per, per day or something like that. So you're not going to get a lot of boosted module tools unless you farm this and get them that way. All right. So uh, thank you guys for watching. My name is Vinicius Jin, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.